Hi everybody, we're going to be talking about our path, our journey, our music, our approach. Um, so for anyone out there who doesn't know, I'm Thomas. And I'm Oliver. And we're brothers. And we're just going to talk about from the start of everything and just how we have journeyed our way through. Exactly through to where we are now, which is we're, we're actually sitting in uh, West Hollywood in Los Angeles at the moment, which is a bit of a, a journey from where we grew up in South Derbyshire, next to a farm. <laughs> and, um, and we're just going to talk about that process, really. And I mean, we have pictures of us making music in our, in our garden. From when we were very small. Yeah, um, when we were but wee high. Um, and that's kind of where it started. And the, 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 one of the, the, the things that I'm really proud of in, in our adult professional life is, is the fact that so much about um, the, the time we, w we, we had as children making music together. And we didn't really know, we weren't sort of making videos or doing this or this or this for a reason. We were just doing it because it was fun. Our bond as, a, as brothers was always centralised around music. In a, it wasn't an intentional thing; it just became that, and, and that's grown over the years. Um, to you know, and we're working together, you know, professionally. Which is if, when you look back to the you know the, the photographs of us when we were three, when we were five, mm -hmm. it's it's quite some journey from from there to where we are now. And we've kind of done everything together. We've gone from um, we went to the same schools. We ended up studying the same music conservatoires, um, we, we kind of have, I think if I could choose it, I would have, I would have, but it kind of just happened at the same time. Yeah. Um, we, we sort of... It wasn't what a we, conscious decision, it just, that's just the way What we it wanted for out. ourselves individually just happened to be perfect fit for each other. Mm -hmm. um, and we went from, from South Derbyshire to London where we went from living together as children um, to living together as students down in London, mm -hmm. studying music together. And that type of bond, like you say, that type of, there's no substitute for it. There's no... You can't artificially create that, that you know, you know to, to the music uh, I write for Thomas, the music he sings, the way we do it together, you can't, you can't buy that. It is, it's just created over years and years, and it's just, you know which, what, what each other is thinking instantaneously which yeah. is a, a really crucial element um, in our work in our professional lives. And, and that level of trust that level of honesty is what you need to find in in any um, good team and and I think that I mean I was very lucky to have to have you <laughs> but we were very lucky to have another another musician another pair of ears another another person who wanted the, the similar sort of um, Similar sort of career, goals. yeah, exactly, yeah. And, and to sort of have someone that you could talk to, both about professional questions you had and to bounce around ideas, and also be there for each other as, as, as you know, as people, um, was was in, imperative to keeping your sanity yeah. in in an industry that in an industry that that's crazy. Um, it's an interesting industry. Uh, it's full of dangers and it's full of trap doors that you don't think are there um, and it's very easy to fall in and in fact and everybody falls into the odd crack and the odd trap door and 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 everything and it's really great to have somebody that you're tied to that you know if one goes and the other one is there for each other however it's I wouldn't do any other job it was it's it's incredibly you know difficult at times but it is the most rewarding job I'll ever have and I wouldn't change. I wouldn't change what I do for the world. I think. I think what is kind of I, I'm sort of uh, humbled by is coming out to America and meeting some of the the people we've met and working with yeah. some of the people we, we we're now working with is incredible. And to go from you know you, you do have ambition, you do have dreams, you do have goals, and and I think something that each of us demand out of each other is you live in an industry where there's no there's no control you you can't control success you can't control people buying your music or people hiring you or people working with you you can't control any of that and so it's very easy to feel 
completely lost. But the one thing you can control is how hard you work, is the standard that you put on yourself. And, and, and each the standard you set for those around you. Yes, and, and it's great having Oliver because we both demand that out of each other. So no one is perfect. There's going to be times when you're going to ask yourself the question, is this the right thing to do? And to have someone supporting that, that question of not is it good enough, the question of how good can it, can it be? Yeah. How excellent can it be? Um, and if you can find people who share that ethos around you, then that's a great thing to have, a great support system. And it's harder to find than you think. It, it's, it, it, sounds so, it sounds like you read it out of a book. Mm. You say, look for the exceptional in everything. It sounds really fantastic to read that and think, yes, I want to find the exceptional in everything. But it is so hard to have that on, on a daily, on an hourly, on a minutely basis because it, it takes so much time and so much energy and it's sometimes it's easy to go well I can just do a little bit less and it will be mm. fine it should never ever enter anyone's head ever to have that mm. um, and the, the more you hold yourself to that standard hold yourself to that level the more you're going to find other people um, who do the same thing I, I'm a great believer that you tend to sort of get back what you put out if you if you put out that level, you tend to sort of connect with those sorts of people back. Yeah. So it's important that if you want to get the best out of people, you've got to bring your best to, to get it back.